Starry night, starry dragon, monsters flee at the sight from yon blazing light in the sky. One more summon and they will all cry. Triple Hose and a Merry Holiday to you all. Starry Night is as close as Yu-Gi-Oh has to a Holiday deck, so we're gonna take a look at it. It's a deck that plays like it came out five years too late. This would have been insane in 2015, but by today's standards, ending on a 28 body with the ability to get one or two pops isn't the best, but still, let's check it out. If you open Rael and Ties with Brethren, you can summon Rael. Effect that Ceremony and then activate Ties, summoning Orbital and Honest from your deck. Honest Effect returns itself to hand. Activate Ceremony, revealing Honest out of Starry Dragon in your hand, putting Honest on the bottom. Orbital Effect tribute itself to set Starry Night Blast from the deck. Pass Last turn when your opponent activates something, you can use Ceremony to summon Star Dragon from the hand, using its effect to pop a card. Now your blast is live to negate one of their effects by bouncing Dragon to hand. And if you do that, Orbital triggers Engrave to summon itself back, and you can Quick Effect Tribute it to either set up another blast if you're confident in your current board, or Balefire if you think you'll need more setup for next turn. Starry Knight is a fun deck. A whole deck revolving around tagging a big dragon in and out so it can pop cards one by one is a fun idea, but this isn't enough for the modern day. Decks are too fast paced and this just can't keep up at a serious level. This is better for casual Yu-Gi-Oh! when you want to try something fun. And as a gift of the seasons to you all, here's a deck list if you want to try it out. You can pick it up at TCG Player using my affiliate link below, or subscribing and joining my Discord, or supporting me in any of these ways linked in the description. It's all appreciated. Happy Holidays!